What's up, guys? Jay Little back for more Vampire Or. And this looks like a place where I'm gonna die a bunch of times. Finally beat those assholes over there. Now I'm going down here, so. I just needed a good, uh. Good thumbnail. There we are. Video. Uh, hub. Hub. Not hub. But HUD. Oh, there we go. I'm ready to die. Come at me. Homeboys. Oh, or whatever the fuck. No? Alright. I'm very much happy. That death is not exactly what happened instantly, so that's good. Uh oh. Shillings. Five. More than five shillings there, from what I saw. Where's this dude? He's over this way, and then... Uh, boy. Okay. I like how these guys don't give a fuck that I'm selling their supplies. They're like, ah. Happens. You don't seem like the dude I'm looking for. What have we here? What have you there? First of all. Hello, sir. Glad you're wearing your mask in today's troubling times. God damn, this game is so much like the world today. And it's bad. I mean, no vampires that we know of. I think vampires would be. I don't think I want to go there quite. What? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, they're all doing that in the mood today. That's me being. It's locked, all right. <laughs> Sir, you don't have your mask on. You need one of those. You too. Yeah, people are still working Sorry. at this time, while your lot slurping soup. My lot's not slurping soup. What are you talking about, Jonathan Reed? May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. But I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? Why are you gonna be no. like that? But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite. I judgmental. like this view. This is a good Sir, view. I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Wait, what? Come on now. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. I get that. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions. Especially when it's a woman. Oh, back to the, uh... Mm. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. How do you know I was a Fancy Pants? Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Pax. Thanks for all the... No help whatsoever. That was nice of you. Uh, looking for, looking for Sean Hampton. Sean Hampton, where you at, my boy? Trying to find you. Don't know where you've gone. He's probably in the this building, wherever the fuck it is. Hey, is, are you a Sean Hampton? Oh, you're. Person I just talked to that used to be over there, but now is over here. But that's fine. Oh, hello there, little scrubby boys. 
lady. I'm I mean. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Yeah. Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. Danger. You want to know my secret? No. I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long no, as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad state now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. But he's kind of sad, right? What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from a the city like yourself. Doctor. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Oh, I think I can handle myself. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. That's... Just begging for violence to happen there. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you would better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those, oh, those wet boot boys, man. Than the epidemic. I'm hearing a lot about them wet boot boys. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, okay. Mr. Hampton. Come Please don't tell me he's... There is still much work to do. Super far away now. Please don't tell me... Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, yes, all of those things, actually. Okay. Stomp, 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 stomp. Totally not. What is that? Yo, any Sean Hamptons in here? Looking for a couple, or at least one Sean Hampton. Got any? Dan Chun Hampton to be found. Got a lot of good stuff though, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, Y'all got any Sean Hamptons, man? Trying to find one. A lot of goodies up here, so that's cool. Take those. Definitely will take those. Ooh, bullets. Alright. Alright. The East End Docks. East End Docks. The docks on the East End. If you ever knew a dock that was on the East End, it would be the East End Docks. Oh. A bit of goodies. A bit of goodies. Oh boy, I'm assuming East End Docks, West End. Don't tell me East End Docks are way over there. Uh, fuck. Fold the paper. That's not what I wanted. Paper. Well, that's not what I 
wanted. Oh! Clearly didn't see you there. Why the long face, Doctor? Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face? Really? This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. I mean, is it... Aren't you afraid of... I don't really trust a vampire about God doctor. stuff. Can't you see it? I'm saying that right now. The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. I mean... But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I mean, he did say that. To eat flesh. No blood. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will the is far stronger than his. For booze. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? I got a point there. He, I mean, he's, he got me there. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, doctor. Why would I do such a thing? Ah, uh, because... So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Great. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Start fucking saying shit with TH. Give a dog a bad name. So that's going to be the end of this part. I thought I was going to fight a bad guy, but I did not. Uh, however, I fought several bad guys over and over until I died in the last part. So, you know. You give some, you get some, I guess. Give what you get, you get what... Ooh, there's something else. What you... Pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Who are you? Glad Is this that one bitch? Again, Mr. Reed. Oh. Goodbye, right. Miss Paxton. Later, Lottie. Oh, there's something there. Let's it's go ahead. Grab one of them. Dear Lord, this is my prayer for my beloved mother, Gertrude Paxton. Oh, she wrote that. Okay. Who now awaits her daughters in heaven. Until that day, I thank you for allowing me to wake up and go through each new day in honest poverty and modesty. Uh, please protect the good 
Mr. Hampton, who let us sleep in his shelter, in his night shelter, I humbly ask you to forgive me for the resentment I have felt toward my sister, Giselle, since mother died. Blessed be her soul. Thank you, God, for hearing me. Amen. Also, later, and big ups to the Jeebus. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. I should have a personal question. E. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her. Plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill. But I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. Makes sense. Giselle is the only family you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave? Every time I hear the name Giselle, I think of a gazelle. Doctor Reed. Gazelles are funny. I can mess. Can I press for details and not do it? Goodbye, Mr. Right, I got a murder. But anyway. I gotta go eat it down shit there. If we're going in the sewers, man, it's just gonna be terrible eh, eh. there's two exclamation points hello exclamations so I want to go back right anyway, I'm gonna end it here um will be more vampire in the future no doubt but I played a few episodes tonight and a few episodes that won't be recorded and won't be uploaded. Uh, one of which because uh, a fucking thing just stopped working all of a sudden. And another reason because uh, I kept dying over and over. So we'll see if we even up the uploaders. Uploaders. Oh, I'm gonna block her. Oh, oh, oh. I'm boxing her out. I'm boxing her out. I'm like a basketball player. She's like, oh, I want to be here and, and rub these windows anyway. That's what she's pretending. Can I go up there? Uh, where the fuck is this ladder going, dude? What the fuck you doing? I got that ladder, man. Hey. Hey, y'all. Y'all be, y'all be dying and stuff. That's rough. But anyway, guys. Oh, it's in the locker. It's locked. It's locked. It makes sense that the locker would be locked. Old newspaper. Neat. I love old newspapers. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be playing more next time.